The third award presented here today is the Sigma Psi Prize, which is presented to a senior in recognition of an outstanding piece of original scientific research. And this year's winner is Patrick Hummel. Patrick. Patrick was apparently impatient to begin his mark at Caltech prior to his freshman year. Patrick delved into an 80-year-old problem in number theory, which prevent Professor Ramakrishnan assigned him for a summer project. His solution came in the fall of his freshman year and was accepted by the Journal of Number Theory. Professor Ramakrishnan said, I have not seen someone more creative or original than Patrick. In the summer of 2003, he worked with Professor Bill Goddard on a surf project to predict the structure and function of odor receptors from first order principles. He succeeded in demonstrating which mutation caused the experimentally observed difference in function and made further predictions regarding the nature of the binding of odors that can be tested experimentally. This research is especially significant because it represents the first time that a specific deleterious mutation has been identified that causes human olfactory receptors to detect odors less efficiently than mouse olfactory receptors. The progress he made on this project in his sophomore year would have been sufficient for a second year graduate student to be admitted to candidacy. Not only did he do outstanding research, but he was able to communicate it effectively in a paper that was published, said Professor Goddard. Mr. Patrick Hummel is one of the best undergraduates I've met in my 41 years at Caltech. After his sophomore year, Patrick switched research fields entirely, studying computationally the bonding in spectra of inorganic compounds with Professor Harry Gray. Professor Gray declared Patrick has done landmark work on the ligand field theory of inorganic complexes in a series of papers. He has elucidated the electronic structures of the ground and lowest el electronic excited states of metal centers bound to carbon monoxide, cyanide, and closely related ligands. This work has been published in high profile journals such as Dalton and Inorganic Chemistry. It is fair to say that his work has changed the way inorganic chemists view the chemical bonds of carbon donors to metals. His findings are having an impact in inorganic spectroscopy and photochemistry. Indeed, he already has accomplished more in the field than most graduate students, postdocs, and assistant professors. <laughs> it does get out of hand. Um, he is a young superstar who richly deserves to receive the highest recognition from Caltech, that from Professor Gray. Uh, Patrick is graduating with a BS in Applied and Computational Mathematics and another in Economics and a master's in chemistry. During his time at Caltech, he has amassed 14 publications in biology, chemistry, economics, and mathematics. He was also the founder and captain of Caltech's two-time national amateur chess championship team, which twice beat MIT so badly that MIT now refuses to play Caltech. <laughs> Next year, Patrick will pursue a PhD in economics at Stanford Graduate School of Business as an NSF graduate, on a NSF graduate Research Fellowship. We have not heard the end of Patrick. Congratulations. <laughs> Now for somebody who really did something. 